Hey guys, what's up? It's part four now, and today we're going to be working on a little new command. It's known as while do. Um, while do is used to repeat a script, a part of the script, until it's told to stop. And also, I'm going to be teaching you another command, which is known as wait, which delays the script, which is v always needed for a while do script. This is how it works. While condition do. Now, you don't put can you don't actually put condition when you're working with while do. You're supposed to put the condition, meaning what's going on, what's happening at the time. See, for example, see base right here. If um if base is there. If base is in workspace, that's what I'm going to put. If game dot workspace dot base equals nil. Oh, and by the way, um, you see this double equals? It's an, it's actually used to check something. So um, you usually you only use single equal for variables and math equations. And this used to check. So if this does not, oh yeah, um, nil. This means it, it doesn't exist. But if you put this, um, the tilde and then equals, it means the opposite. If base that works, if game that works base that base is not nil, meaning if it does exist and it is in game that works base, then it will continue while this is true continue so print base oops exists uh, oh my god and typos, whatever. <sighs> base is in workspace. I think else works in here. Else is self explanatory. It means the opposite. If this isn't true, then return it false and it'll just, it'll just skip this line and just go to everything under else until you end it. Base is not in workspace end oh I'm sorry I forgot wait wait is also self-explanatory you just need it um to w wait a certain amount of seconds so inside the parentheses a number is equal to one second. Remember that this, this is very important. Also, if you, I don't think I said this yet, but if you do not use a wait for um, while do, your game's gonna crash and so possibly Roblox. And by that I mean like the game you're trying to work on. So make sure to save every once in a while. Make sure to save your game, your script, if you need to. So wait one second end end just end the command so you see this hy hyphen right here every time you see this it requires an end right, let's see if this works what oh I'm sorry else doesn't work in while do it works in another command known as if then. I'll get that in, in the next tutorial. I'm so sorry. Okay, if it exists. What? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot about those. I have to delete them. They're not a comment. Space is in workspace. Space is in workspace. There we go. Alright. Alright, so as you can see, this works. 
Now, if we do this, it's going to print this, but um, it, it's not really going to be true, though. Still printing it. Let me fix that. It's not in workspace. What? Uh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Um, the reason it's not printing it is because, well, the base is, is there, and this actually is false. It's not true. So, therefore, it will not print anything inside of it. Okay. Well, there we go. Once again, I'm sorry for the else mistake. I'll get to the next tutorial. Hope this helped. And, oh! Oh my god. <laughs> One more thing, guys. Did you know you can also use variables for print? Well, you can. Look at this. Um, local p equals print. p hi p hello. I'm sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to like sort of like mess you up there. Bye. I'm just gonna be a little idiot now. One three three seven. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see if it prints them. Yep, it does. Variables always work, pretty much. And also, one more thing. I'm sorry, I just just getting carried away here. <laughs> Local p equals print. You can also use variables to replace other variables. Local. You know what? I'm not always gonna use local. It doesn't matter. Local x equals p. Um, g s f equals x. And I think you get it now. Equals g s f. Now let's try it. You don't really need all these um variables. <laughs> let's see if it works. See, it does. Check it out.